for anyone who thinks, well, you know, the natural environment's fine, um, we can look after it as we get richer, but, you know, there's no big deal here. They do have to reflect on what's coming this century. At the current growth rate, the world economy will be 16 times bigger by the end of this century than it is now. And we will have nine, uh, possibly even 10 billion people on the planet. That's more extra people than the entire world's population in 1950. So if you think that the 20th century has been destructive to our natural environment, it's a picnic, a stroll in the park compared with what's coming. And it is possible on business as usual basis that we might destroy up to half the species on this planet. And you don't have to be an environmentalist to work out the scale of the impact of all the consumption you would do if you were 16 times richer now. And to think about how well or badly our world is going to work and our economy is going to work if there's only half the species left. What's going to happen to the soil? What's going to happen to the river? What's going to happen to the marine environment? Let alone what's going to happen to the climate. So this is urgent. This is for now. This is for our generation to do something about. And the good news is it doesn't have to be like that. This is a solvable problem. And that's what my book's about. It's about recognizing the sheer scale of the challenge that we face, just as we should in the climate change case to realize what will happen if we don't do anything. But that's just a motivation. This can be solved. And what I try to do in the book is show how the 21st century could turn out rather differently.